What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Back for another MLB series bed here, bringing you guys the action. Today is August the 10th on a Monday, and uh, we got a nice couple games in the MLB. So, nice series bet starting up here. We got about five series going on. That's going to be uh, Monday to Wednesday. And uh, that's what I'm here to do, guys. Coming off a of one and one series bets there, we had Houston and uh, the Mets fell through in our last one. But uh, we're looking to cash this one here. I got a lot. I really like this one here, guys. Huge pitching discrepancy. We're going to get right at it here. Uh, Arizona Diamondbacks versus Colorado Rockies. Arizona's six and ten. Colorado's eleven and four. Uh, the series bet line opened up at plus one hundred five for Arizona and minus one twenty five for Colorado. Um, big reasoning why we're going to take the uh, Colorado Rockies here, guys. At only minus one twenty five is uh, the problems with the Arizona Diamondbacks uh, pitching. You got Robbie Ray and um, Luke Weaver going on the mound here on games one and three, I believe. Uh, Phipps are over eight. Whips are almost two, uh, pretty much over two for Weaver, 1.9 for Ray. Uh, bat pips are almost three. For Weaver, it's 0.4, uh, which is 40%. Uh, everything, their home run to fly ball ratio, guys, this is the big one I want you to focus on. When you're playing at Coors Field and you got a home run to fly ball ratio over 20% for all three pitchers, you got a recipe for it. It's not going to be good. It's going to be throwing the garbage. You know, Don't give that one to, to your best friend or even your worst enemy. This is going to be... Uh, this is going to be a tough series for Arizona, I think, guys. It's going to be at Coors Field. So far, these um, pitches have all had a bad home run to fly ball ratio. Uh, the LOB, which is left on base percentage, uh, a.k.a. runners in scoring position, is only is 68% and 56%. That's Ray and Weaver. Um, Gallon is the is the outlier here. That's the one guy I haven't talked about here, guys, for the Diamondbacks. Gallon, his his numbers are good. I'm not, I'm not afraid of uh, Gallon blowing it for the Diamondbacks, but when you're looking at Robbie Ray and, and – um, Luke Weaver, these guys are just gas cans compared to what the Colorado Rockies are going to throw out in this three-game set. It's going to be uh, John Gray, um, Freeland, uh, Tyler Freeland. I uh, could be butchering his first name. And then Sensatella. Anyways, guys, Sensatella, Freeland, and Gray, all are um, they all have whips under 1.2. Right away, that's telling me they got control of their pitches. And their bat pips are under uh, 0.3, which is 30%. So... A lot of good control, not allowing uh, base on balls in play. Uh, K to base on ball percentage is not exactly that high. They're not getting a lot of strikeouts, these guys, but um, they're just not allowing teams to um, get home runs. Their home run to fly ball ratio is 5%, 13%, and 5% compared to over 20 for the Arizona Diamondbacks, which is not going to fare well at Coors Field. Uh, left on base percentage, a little bit of issue for Gray. Gray is 54%, uh, runners in scoring position. Sorry, left on base, uh, 54, 54%, which is not that good. Uh, Freeland's at 87, where Sensatella is at 75. So uh, no issues with Freeland and Sensatella. A little bit with Gray, but I I like these two out of the three much better than um, the three that we got for Arizona, uh, other than Gallon. So we're really, that's a major factor right there, guys. We'll go quickly into the offenses. Um, Diamondbacks are hitting uh, 21%, where the Rockets are hitting 26%. Um, Base on balls in play is going to Colorado. Woba is going to Colorado. Uh, home run to fly ball ratio is Colorado. Everything's leaning towards Colorado in the offensive categories as well, including the war at 2.1 to minus 0.1. So uh, just from my notes here, guys, um, it's just going to speak volumes. When you're at Coors Field, you, it's just it's a hitter's friendly ballpark, which will help Arizona, but more so this is going to help Colorado with the pitching Arizona is going to throw at them. So let's uh, – Oh, bullpens. Bullpens here, uh, 0.484 fit for Arizona, 3.18 for Colorado. Uh, really good bullpens, really. Whips, uh, 1.2 for Colorado, 1.06 for Arizona, and the batting average is 0.19% uh, for uh, Arizona and 21% for Colorado. So we have good bullpens going here, guys. So really, it's the starting pitching. I have also in my notes here, you can find a sneaky advantage of taking Colorado in the first five in a lot of these games, along with the score first. Usually you get a good uh, score first price when you have the home team. Uh, you like the home team there. So a couple angles there for you, but pull the trigger there, guys, in the series bet four-star play on your Colorado Rockies to take down those Arizona Diamondbacks. Cheers, guys. We'll be back again Thursday, Thursday if not Friday, for your next MLB installment. Cheers.